Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Donna from AxeRadTech.com and I help take you from the classroom to the extra room with ease. In today's video, I wanted to get into the salary of a radiographer because I am, well, a radiographer, right? And I think that when it comes to the salary, we kind of could be misinformed and there are a few factors that will affect, you know, what our salary is and what it can and cannot be um, based on a few things. So we'll get into that today. Um, I've been getting a few questions on this, so I thought why not just make a video to address it. That way I can always just, you know, reference the video if ever it comes up again, which I'm sure it will because it always does. So let's get into our salary. Is it worth it? Like, how does it vary from place to place, you know? So yeah, let's just run the intro real quick. I'm in need of an X-ray. Okay, so the first thing that I want to say is that our salary will vary. Like, off the bat, this is something that you need to be aware of. What you get paid in your hospital versus the hospital down the street might actually be two different things, right? So let me just say, first of all, the first point I want to make is that pay is relative to where you live, right? So I'm from Trinidad. As a Trinidadian radiographer, right, Trinbegonian radiographer, when someone from the U.S. asks me what salary um, they're expected to make, you actually are at a better position to know that versus me, right? All I can really do is quote what I am told or what I read online and stuff, but in reality, it will still vary even if you yourself are in the country that you're inquiring about, right? So for me personally, I'm from Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago, and our salary, based on where you work, that's another factor, ranges from about seven to a thousand Trinidadian dollars up to about 130 Trinidadian dollars per year, right? And again, it varies. So you can't necessarily just take that as face value because if you think about it this way, with my salary that I am working at, getting right now, granted, I think that us Trinidadian radiographers, um, us radiographers in the Caribbean, at least for Trinidad anyway, should definitely be paid more and be given more benefits, but that's another topic, right? I do think that it is important to say that my salary here in Trinidad would definitely vary from your salary. So if you were to simply convert it, remember different economies, the value of the dollar, that kind of thing, those things really do affect how much you're paid, right? If you were to transfer or convert that money to the US dollar, you'd actually be making a good like 20 to even like 30 or 35, probably not even 35, but like a good 20, 25,000 US per year less. And that is crazy, right? That's being severely underpaid. Right? So I don't think it's as easy as just saying this is how much I make so you can expect the same thing because it's not reasonable. From what I researched, the US salary averages about 40000 up to around 58000 a year. Um, so I guess on the higher end, that will be about 3300 a month or maybe on the lower end, over 2000 I'm not too sure about that part. But the salary is above average for what you would expect, like minimum wage and being an allied health professional. It is a good salary and there is no denying that. However, it will vary. That's just point one. So the other thing that would actually also affect your salary is based on the type of environment you work in and your job spec. So some radiographers, for example, persons who are now starting out, it's just extra, right? We're not even worrying about specialization and modalities and that kind of thing yet general x-ray working in the main x-ray department and the accident emergency pediatric accident and emergency department so the basic level or job spec would be general x-ray right the things that would affect that is one whether you're in a small clinic because small clinics would tend to pay less right although you would have you might have nicer benefits like retirement um and like insurance everything they help hook that up for you so that's a benefit there right however when it comes to like working in a larger hospital not even like public but like a private hospital they will pay better than a smaller clinic right however if you go public you might get paid more but big private hospitals may actually pay better and have better benefits than public health care 
So it's up to you to do your research in um, your country where you live or where you plan to live at so you would know what to expect there. And the other kind of obvious thing is that obviously if you have more experience, you'll be paid more. You're being paid, you're being compensated for your level of expertise, right? A radiographer who's only been a radiographer for a month could never be expected, even with the same qualifications, to be paid as a radiographer who's been doing it for 10 years. Like, you have seen some things at that point. You know the inner workings of the hospital that you work at or the hospital system in general. Things to do, extra to do, like, you're more than just a basic textbook radiographer, you know? You're not a liability, and that's a bad way to put it, but you're not a liability. And that's it, you're definitely an asset to the institution that you work at. So if you, you know, have been doing this for some time, whether you're just in general extra versus if you have just started, the pay will vary there, right? But it vary by a whole lot up to the place that you're working at and how much they choose to pay you and whatever you choose to negotiate your salary as as you get more experience working there however um that's just something to note like more experience over time you'll you'll be more senior in the field um at least where general actually is concerned so you will get paid more and of course another somewhat obvious one is when it comes to specializations doing different imaging modalities like mri and mammography mammography and like ultrasound, CT, nuclear med, um, fluoroscopy, that kind of thing. Now, when you specialize in something, you obviously attain a more professional um, academic certification. You're more qualified that way. You may even get paid more depending on the professional bodies that you're um, registered or in alliance with, right? And an important thing to note is that it kind of depends on how you choose to go about it. Now, if you are a cross-trained radiographer, meaning that you have no official like certificate in your hand saying, oh, I'm licensed and, and um, properly, like professionally trained in CT, computer tomography, right? If you don't have that and you're just cross-trained, meaning that you went across to that modality, your supervisors and whoever made you work across that modality or you wanted to and you got to cross-train in that way, then that would... Um, that would probably increase your salary or it might even get paid the same because again you're not professionally like qualified right this is just practice you you have practice on the field but you don't have the license specific to that right now that definitely is a different scenario than if you had the professional qualification meaning that you went to a medical institute or an, an imaging institute or whatever the case is and you got your certificate you wrote the exam or whatever the case is and now you have a certificate as well as clinical practical experience saying that yes i know this i'm certified in this then you'll get paid more right if you're officially certified in an additional or more than one um, additional modalities then you will and you should get paid more like no doubt about it I know that there are radiographers who would cross train and do different things and maybe the salary might increase a little. And when I say little, of course, that's relative based on where you're from. So for me, maybe they might get an increase of about $1,000 or so a month, 2000 at most. Um, and that would generally be deemed as okay, right? Um, maybe in the US, they might get paid about, I don't know, three to $500 more a month based on that specialty. Could be more, could be less, it all depends on where you're at and the value, I guess, that they place on these professional certifications. So that's another thing that would affect your salary. One more thing as well that I would consider or think that would definitely have a uh, kind of factor to play whether your salary is higher or average or lower would be whether you work shift or on call shifts, right? So if you're working on just hours like me right now, <laughs> well this might be outrageous. I don't even know what let me see. It's 2 38 a.m. as I'm filming this. I got some free time so I said let me just record this video for you all. Okay? 2 38 in the morning. I am at work, right? So I work shift hours. Maybe a radiographer at another hospital or clinic that is only working morning or daylight hours they may get paid a little less or we might get paid the same. Again, it depends on where you work and the state that you live in or the country that you live in and what their baselines are because different places will have different um, things that they do. 
we will do things differently. If you work shift hours or if you work on call, obviously you'll get paid whether it's overtime or whatever. Overtime is another thing actually that would affect um, your salary, like whether it's time and a half or double or, or you get an incentive for working a shift hour whether there's a certain stipulated amount extra for each extra day or extra shift that you work, you know, those things will affect it. And then lastly, I heard this from other radiographers, but some people would even work at multiple institutions. Let's say two, for example. You may have your job at a public healthcare facility, and then you may have a part-time job at a private healthcare facility, which would help bring in a little extra cash. Or some people even work part-time at more than one place, and that helps bring their salary up significantly than the average radiographer who works at one institution. So it's kind of all up to you, and you have to weigh your options. You also have to know it, what, like know your value and know your worth and what you bring to it. Maybe when you're now starting out, you would take things like base pay and you would do things a certain way. But like, don't be afraid to negotiate your salary realistically based on you know the competitive prices and stuff like that, competitive salaries, I should say. And it's up to you to do whatever you have to do. I mean, starting out, be kind of more lenient. But with more experience, you would expect things to change and with more professional certifications, right? So this video, not too long, but yeah, that's about it for my answer on what um, a radiographer's salary is and if it's worth it. It's not a bad salary by any means. It's actually pretty good and definitely above average. Um, I think that it could be more depending on where we're at. I personally think it could be more, <laughs> but yeah, it's all kind of subjective again based on where you're at so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you all in the next one bye don't forget to subscribe <laughs> okay